name is Dante Swan. If you don't know me, I create riffs and samples like RJ Payson, something like this. And right now, I'm gonna show you how to create that sound. First, I go straight into my interface, which I'm using the Quad Cortex. It allows me to add an additional noise gate and compression, but it's not required. You can also just use a noise gate pedal and a compression pedal before your interface, but this works best for me. And here's my signal chain for when I record. I just go through an EQ that takes out some of the low, some of the high. Sometimes I use an OTT, but rarely. Um, and then this is one of the main sauces. There's two things that create the main sound. On most of my samples, I use this amp here, Arctite Petrucci, on the third or fourth amp, depending on how I want it to sound. I have a bunch of presets that I use that I may share at some point. For this specifically, I have the noise gate kind of high, but usually it's around 69 for my non-synthy sounds. And this chorus is a big reason why the sample sounds so like fake or whatever. So this chorus does a lot of that. This is chorus off. This is chorus on. And then here's the biggest component for the RJ covers and my synthy samples. It is serum effects. You get this when you buy serum. And personally, I bought some artist sounds from a producer named Florency. I use it when I produce. And then I also use them when I play them with the guitar. But you can find some good sounds I recommend scrolling through, maybe the lead section, and then find whichever one you like. You can also experiment with some faster licks. This is an older one of mine. And that's it. Let me know if you have any other questions.